Hello everybody! I just finished a little side project that I'm actually very excited about and I thought that I want to share with you. So you may know that Contentful's GraphQL APIs, uh, since our latest pricing changes, is available for free. And you see here the documentation at developers docs references GraphQL. So the thing with GraphQL is that you usually use a tool that is called Graphical to kind of figure out what data is available. So you see there that we offer Graphical at graphql.contentful.com and then you can call this URL, it includes an explore, and it needs a space ID and an exit token. This then means that you can query the data and you write your queries inside of this interface. So now I power my own website also with Contentful and I found myself opening this URL all the time and uh, grabbing another token and uh, fiddling around with a space ID. So I thought, well, why not bring it into the Contentful ad, uh, interface? So what you see here is Contentful GraphQL Playground app. And it basically is a Contentful app. Uh, Contentful apps are ways to extend the Contentful UI, which enables me to query GraphQL right, with, right from within the Contentful interface. And I just want to quickly show you how you can set that up. So when you go to your Contentful space, you can go to Organization Settings, and you here have this app section available. So you can click this one, and you can say Create a new app. So this app now needs a name and also an app URL. Contentful apps are basically iframes that run inside of the Contentful UI and they communicate with the whole uh, outer and surrounding application. So when I now can go to GitHub, I document, uh, documented everything here. I can grab this URL. So I deployed everything to Netlify. And then I have to define where, uh, which locations should this app be available in. So I will define app configuration screen. You will see what this means in a moment. And I want to have it in the sidebar and I want to have it as a page app. You see here already a little preview, uh, which means that there will be a complete page available where you can basically render whatever you want. Let's give it a uh, link path here and let's create the app. So what I can now do is I can install it to a certain space. So I go to my private website and I say, I want to do it in this environment. So what I can now do here is, um, so it navigated now to my space and it navigated to the app config location that we just uh, defined for our app. So this now gives us a little bit of documentation, how things work, but I want to show you that here. And what we have to do first is that we have to grab a pair of API keys. So you can go to, it, it is linked, you can go to the API keys section and then you can grab a content delivery API key or a content preview API key. For this GraphQL Playground uh, application, I recommend to grab the preview API key because our GraphQL API also allows you to query preview data and um, then you need the preview access token. So I just copied this and now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna install this application. So what happens now is that I now can go into apps and you see that there is GraphQL Playground already available. And here we have GraphQL Playground, right? Inside of the Contentful UI. So what I can now do is I can go in here and I can query all the things. So let's grab all the titles here. Sweet. And another thing that we now can do is we can go, for example, to the content model section. And yeah, my content model may be a little bit messy here. So, and we can go here and we can configure the sidebar. And what we can do is let's remove this body here. We can say that we want to have a new item available inside of the sidebar. So I can add this one here. Let's move that one down and let's save this one. Here we go. And when I now go to the content section and I open a today I learned post, what I can do now is that I now have GraphQL Playground available on the sidebar. And when I'm developing and creating content, I can immediately start doing things. So we see here that it's uh, querying the uh, today alone post field. Um, there's also a cl collection query already available. And with this, um, yeah, man, I I'm querying GraphQL now from within Contentful. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, see you. See you later.